Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our Royal Rumble campaign where we're trying to go as far as possible in Legendary Iron Man with 100 mods installed, two of which are double enemy squad size and yellow alert, 98 of which are making Saiken's life a living hell. I was cocky enough to say I want to finish that campaign and maybe see a chance to go to Waterworld and the game immediately put the fear of God into me in the last mission as we were being hammered by Advent Custodian Exalteds uh, on top of the Archon King. Luckily for us, the Archon King is dead now. Luckily for us as well, Euler has survived. Good man. But that uh, taught us uh, or taught me a very important lesson. Uh, we need more hard crowd control against the single hardcore targets. And I'll get that over time. I invested some points into Hogbite so that he now does have single target crowd control, which will help us against these human uh, humanoids because apparently they are immune to frost, which is completely ridiculous. But okay, whatever. They are exalted custodians. Today we're going to go into the city center for Earthly Dance, another harsh mission where we are beating up or are being beaten up rather uh, by a sector pod hunter, drone, heavy mag, brutes, the enemy unknown might be a mechanical one and a whole lot of just crazy advent uh, units. As you can see I prepared very well for normal advent units because that is what I'm expecting is going to happen here. Uh, she is bad with hitting so let's give her uh, let's give her a chance. We do have the refraction field and by the way I completely botched that this is the invisibility um, matrix and I still want to use the item so that you guys can see it. It's normally a one-shot item but I think it is reusable here as well. So this will give us concealment. Might be cool if we charge in, uh, shoot our shot and then just conceal. Something along those lines. I don't know yet how we're going to play it. We got one turret. Uh, we got a bit of healing. I took a mimic beacon for safety and like I said, quite a bit of, uh, of cover removal as well as uh, a flashbang. You never know, right? You never know. And that's pretty much it. Let's use uh, these nice items and give it a go. Also, I think uh, for Euler, I will give him a bit more tankiness. Really need those extra armor and extra hit points. Mainly to prevent these one shots from happening. He went from 100 to 0 by just two of these Advent Custodians. But what can you do when they hit for 14 and can shoot multiple times, right? Let's jump in and see what this mission has in stock for us. Good, we are starting with uh, six rather underpowered newbies. This run can only be fun. Luckily for us, we're at least concealed. And luckily as well, we should be able to... move up and take a good look. Inquisitor is going to lead the pack. Got some high ground options here. As you order. And thanks to Parkour. Oh, look at that. Sector pod, uh, Hunter. Thanks to, uh, thanks to Parkour, he even could move further, which is great. Just look at the mobility. This guy has just traversed half of the map in one go. Beat, beat. Shinrod moves up. Hewar definitely needs to get up there. Lyrical will go down here together with Aviator. And Hexer moves up as well. Good. So far, so good. First turn. We at least have, quote unquote, secured the first building. 
in a perfect fairy tale land, we would see all three factions fight against each other. We knock the VIP out in the middle of it and just get out of here. But I got the subtle feeling that that is not going to play out. Instead, we're seeing quite sizable enemy packs. Brutes, Hunter Drones, Heavy Mechs, Mini Sectopod Hunters. I like the Sectopod Hunters. They are actually a really good addition. Putting them in early, still making them dangerous, but not completely overtuned. What I don't like is that they are still running through the buildings, which is hilarious, because if that would be true, Advent would tear down the entire world. Rebuilding that wall, that outer wall, it takes weeks. But good, we are, no one said XCOM is a realistic simulator. We would be of that uh, opinion physics would need to be redefined. Shinrod moves up. Hayward moves up. Lyrical moves up. I don't know. I think XOR might be better off just being over here. No need to ask twice. Good. We're just waiting for now. All of the rest, uh, all of the other, um, uh, all of the other XCOM agents needed to catch up. That were two full double moves. We have uh, the enemies right in our side, so that's a good potential start. Yeah, we're going to we're going to kill them. Or at least we're going to try to do that. Does either of you have salvo? No, of course you don't. Sectopod dropped down here, which is funny. <laughs> Very funny. Um, all right, opening the door. Look, I think it's one of the best uh, grenade openings that we could ask for. I think we don't have... No, we... No, we unfortunately don't. I was hoping for a kill zone. Nice little kill zone here, but we neither have the magazine capacity nor the actual ability to uh, to do that, like literally. Okay, so this will hit downstairs, which includes the Sectopod Hunter, that in return is important for me. Good, we've been spotted out. Lots of Overwatch. 
but you guys have not expected this here. A nice little EMP. It's only the mechanical units, but it will deal damage through all of their armor. Sectorport is shut down for three rounds, so we don't need to care about it at this moment. One, two, three, four, five. Holy shit, that's a good uh, face off. And just for clarity, that's a kill. That's a kill, that's a kill, which means we only need to... Hmm, well, we wouldn't be able to deploy a turret, but I think it's fair to say... That, that is one of the best face-offs uh, face that I've seen in a while, so might as well do that. Do we have death from above? We do. I tell you what, I think getting that sector port hunter away isn't a bad idea either. Might even explode, deal damage. There you go. So almost dealt as much as the pistol would have dealt. Shotguns to the face. And we are zeroing in. And in order to make that a worthwhile turn, Comet Presence over. Yes, please. And we're planting the turret. We do have threat assessment, right? Yes, we do. My H means aviator here. Gets the chance for an extra attack. In case someone runs into us and we're overwatching. All right, cool. I would say that was a reasonable successful first turn. The first civilian that ever uh, start to panic and do oh no ethereal oh no i forgot about the and i was feeling so good before i met them oh i patched them in they might be the single worst uh unit i mean venators are bad i think they come in they come in third ventures are really a pain to deal with Second would be Rift Keeper because that's just horrible. And first are Custodians. What is happening? Triple. Did he just start three summonings? That didn't just happen, right? All right, they cloned Lyrico. Just think about the craziness. So that guy starts to summon three, not one, not two, but three pairs of enemies. Okay, that in itself uh, sucks. They immediately can act. They, he summons a Uber Mac that then shoots at us, deals damage, and on top of it clones, uh, clones us. 
So he just brought 100 hit points to the battlefield. Yeah, fantastic. The bandits begin their own little side skirmish here. If I had to take a guess, I would say they will not kill a single advent. Not a single one, mark my words. At least not by themselves. Maybe they finish off someone whom we injured like severely. But out of those guys, no one. Not a single one will die. Good. Go and kill. Please go and kill that. Uh, that stupid ethereal. There we go, Ethereal takes some damage. And we're being effed. For no other reason than being here. Good, Meg Algorith needs to die and needs to die really fast, which is while we're taking it down. I potentially will use a Mimic Beacon at the end of the turn. Lyrical is a problem. If we were to stand up here, we couldn't see Lyrico. So might as well move to here. Gotta deal with our own soldiers. Unbelievable. Lyrico hits Lyrico. Can't leave her in the open. Lyrical begins run and gun. Positions herself around the corner. Well, that was not that was not very nice. We needed to deal with. Uh, her right away. Turret hits but does not kill. Now we need to deal with Advent. Those are our prime enemies. Great shot, I like it. Now the question is, can we kill this guy? Only 50-50 chance to hit. That's even worse of a chance. Let's try our 
I uh, can't really hit the Prowler. Not at the moment. This could be a kill. Perfect. That trigger is Death from buff, and the reason why I wanted to do that first is... I can now kill the Brute after Death from above. Very action efficient. Look, I mean, we already know that there are enemies coming in, right? So... I suppose the question is, should we get up here and overwatch? Might be the right call. Alright, Aviator, Reload, Overwatch. And we're using a Mimic Beacon right here. Good. Some Overwatch. Let's hope that these are actual reinforcements and not uh, Void Rifts. Well, high ground really didn't help us. Good, Mimic Pekin is still standing strong. Like it. Potentially more reinforcements soon. Saw troopers are running in. Mutant. Deals a lot of damage. And the Viper. And the Viper. Just moves in. Okay, cool. The bandits are just keeping a few of them busy here i can already foresee we do have problems with finishing that mission in time we might need to boogie out advent in this particular map is strong enough to fight on three fronts and they are still not losing that let's sink in for a second they are fighting against the bandits with one battalion or with one uh, with one group right so they are fighting on that one uh, side equally they are fighting down there with uh, the dark elders who are not a pushover. We have already established that they are actually quite good. Not like the bandits here. They, uh, Although I must say the bandits are doing much better than I would have expected. Oh nice. He reflected the melee vulnerability back to the Elder Grotesque. I think I've found a new worst enemy for us oh they also have dodge okay well it would be too easy elsewise right they do have reflect 
uh, they can summon triple summon uh, from something. Where is the exit, by the way? Okay, we're we're out of here. We're running. From now on, it is move or die. Ten turns, which means we basically leave these guys be, move through, and just fight fight our way through. Wow. Wow. Okay, so it's time to get out of here. And the easiest way of doing that is by grappling. Inquisitor certainly, unless being killed, will not have the problem of uh, being too slow or not at the right place. I mean, just look at that speed. If everybody had a grappling suit, this here would not be a problem at all. Okay. On the other hand... This here might be more of a challenge for us. So... Like I said, we don't need to overdo it, but it's... It's a case of slow and steady wins the race, right? We want to get out of here as fast as possible. These two will need to die. So Aviator moves into decent cover. And let's just shred them. Grenade into flop. And there's the shredding. Very nice. Good job. Okay, so these two are alone and naked after we have uh, taken out their armor. I wish we could jump down all the way to here, but that's not going to happen. Single move for Haxer. The more dangerous target is the Psy uh, Viper, so that's going to be our priority. Nice little hit, down to 8 hit points. And of course we can't finish her, because we're too far away. Thankfully, we have that beautiful tower, uh, which we are going to leave behind. Shinrod on the other side. I'm wondering. He has a lot of movement potential. Move all the way up to here. It's a bit dangerous from the other side. But I think it's okay. Should be far enough away to not get hit. Maybe from that bio Zerka, but this is still partial cover, uh, or half cover from shots from here. The only way of how he can flank it is by jumping in here. And I'm just banking on the fact that uh, the Rocketeer does not understand that. We're ignoring all of the non advents. Can we charge in? I mean, we can get back into concealment and just move away. He could flank us from here. This is a decent position. Given that we can conceal ourselves, uh, we might take the risk. This could be a kill. Oh, come on, I needed that uh, hit. Unfortunate. Good. 
Good, he's down, which is an important kill. I am continuing by just charging with Hayward. Newton is poison and stun, so nothing is happening. And we get one more Elite Collector. Sort of need to deal with them. Ouch, that was a really nasty hit. And the problem is this is our healer. The Ethereal goes into melee. Armored Viper. Kills him with bo uh, Bound. This is... This is interesting. They the they mind controlled uh, the Dark Elder and forced them to fight against their own kin. Yeah, now the skirmisher or the bandits are no longer deal uh, doing so hot. Already mentioned in advance that they are potentially not going to kill a single unit. Why won't you go for the tower, dude? Okay, okay I see, because Haywire is marked. Oh, who's gonna make it? Okay, well that's some nasty damage. We gotta deal with the guys that are behind our back. Can't just let them treat us like this. Good. The skirmishers, I think, can shoot twice. Well, doesn't really matter. Uh, the elders definitely could take out some of the enemies. Elite Lancer down to 1 HP. Purifier dies. And explodes. I think that was a civilian. Unfortunately, that crit, a uh, crit of 13 was a civilian and not an advent. Yeah, so another grenade would be fantastic, but we were out of grenades. But we can kill those three. I think that's entirely possible. Mutant Prowler will be a problem. Thankfully, we do have Comet Presence, so that should work out well. Yeah, I think I do have an idea. I think I do have an idea. Okay, I needed to take a break yesterday. This is me coming back to the mission. It was just too long of a game session. And it looks even worse than I had uh, remembered it. So we got an assault trooper here. We got a heavy bio trooper here. We got a vanguard here. From the other side, the rocket uh, trooper is posing a threat as well. So overall, not a very good place to be in. That mutant will soon wake up but we got combat presence we however also got quite injured let's i mean let's uh, start with a proper recovery here lyrical needs to reload there is no way around that and what we could do is we could charge in hit that uh, bio trooper but that would only be seven to eight points of damage. 
The positive aspect of standing here is would be out of line of sight except for that trooper and Lyrical has quite a few extra hit points so if we can shred said trooper we would be fine. The other problem is the collector assassin here. We don't have another option to get rid of him. Surely we could <coughs> move in and also shoot but he has full cover into that direction. We we'll certainly could drop down here uh, and end his life with seven to eight points of damage. He is definitely one of the, the more threatening damage dealers. What can the tower theoretically hit? That's a good hit. That's not a bad hit either. I haven't even had the armored viper on my radar. Uh, we got to get that bio trooper down, and the arm, uh, tower is ignoring armor, at least partially. Unfortunately, even an 80% shot, it's not always guaranteeing you that you can kill someone. Interesting that this here is not a flanking shot. This here, however, would flank uh, the heavy bio trooper downstairs. But like I said, the bio trooper is not the biggest problem. The collector is a bigger problem. Let's start with the obvious choice, which is half cover and getting this guy down. Aviator needs to move around. And let's hit this guy. Hits him nicely. That's what I'm talking about. He's almost down, so... If we were to move to here... That would open us still from that side. Could move to here. Half cover, not great, but at least far out of the way. And three points of damage could be it. Full cover here. It's better. Hayward needs to stay safe for now. Okay. So that's a start. Let's do Shinrod last before we do anything else. Even if this is open terrain. Still helpful, unfortunately. Can't trigger, can't exactly trigger an extra action with that. Would give over extra actions to either of these guys. It's down to seven hit points. I hate to say it, but this might be one of the better placements. If you say so. it seems to be flanking that bio rocketeer through the window. I got it, right? Okay, so two are gone. Trying to kill as many of the enemies as possible. Okay, what is the potential hack? Full squad point recovery would be fine. <laughs> that is how materialization in XCOM works. I just gotta think really, really hard about it and it will happen. Okay, 
Okay, starting to hit this guy. Then, Shinrod. Comet Presence. Shinrod uses the time to heal himself. We're maximizing all of the actions that we could get. And then with a last ditch effort, this is if this works, it would be so epic because it would make the mission just so good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. We're back in business. Thank you, XCOM, for providing awesome content. The necessary level of uh, luck in order to pull this off. Turret begins to continue his barrage. Unfortunately, like the last time, fails to fully kill. Lyrical continues to move. Well, I think that evens out our luck a bit. That Bio Assault Trooper is still an absolute annoyance. Hexo moves up. Come on, kill him. Thank you. He had a stupid position to begin with, but luckily we made sure that he regretted his existence there. Nice little hit, free reload, and let's kill him. There we go, Inquisitor really pulls his weight in, this, in these missions. Gremlin heal to get Hayward back. Okay, we got our uh, our rear covered. Now it's time for that Rocketeer. Moving as far as we can. And this is at least going to mark him. I'll get him next time. 50 50 or the Viper. You know, let's try that 50 50 and see how it goes. Does not go well, which in return lets me heal <clears throat> Hayward up one more time because there is no point if we can't kill him. Okay, cool. Well, we used all of almost all of our healing. The Ethereal continues with its mind control rampage. Snake tries to somehow hit the marshals down there. And however it did it, um, it bound one of the bigger ones. Advent is still fighting on all fronts. They might have lost on our front. But you can see they are still progressing on the others. Yeah, their grenades are mainly doing acid damage. <clears throat> Sucks, but better than their normal shots they uh, the other skills that they do have was face off and uh, quick draw so that was actually the lowest damage option 
Oh, come on. You can kill that uh, Lancer. Nice, that was a good hit. <sighs> if you wouldn't go for the civilians, guys, you would be so, so, so successful. So, <clears throat> we are still fighting against both of these heavy assaults. A pleasant uh, situation. But one that might uh, work out in our favor. I do have an idea. Gotta get that heavy rocket trooper <coughs> out of cover here. Good, very nice. That worked well. We will be using this side here to just go to the exit and maybe we're going to kill that guy. That VIP, that dark VIP. I don't think at this point uh, it's uh, that it's really up for debate whether or not we can win this mission with rescuing him. Aviator needs to reload. I think that's the one time. Well, we just need to bite the bullet and fire in the open. Well, that worked better than expected. I just wanted to mark him. Moves up. Got a 50-50 on this guy. <clears throat> We're using our concealment for the first time. We don't have run and gun, but next turn we can definitely use concealment to our advantage. Lyrical moves up. move all the way to here that's one option the other one is using a flashbang which i don't want to do yet go, go, go. a protocol yes please <clears throat> and we're low on ammunition so instead of just shooting and being out next turn I decide to reload so that Shinrod has a proper way of dealing with them. Full cover, full cover, full cover is what they see. Theoretically Hackster if they move in deeper, but they do have plenty of enemies to take care of. And we're going to overwatch with a turret. It's all about getting out of this hellhole now. The ethereal is, by the way, just nice, uh, nicely healthy. Bandits are slowly but surely dying, which is bad. These guys focus on the grotesque, which is bound at the moment. Heavy 
All right, bandits. I think bandits are dead. There are still a couple of elders <coughs> running around. <coughs> Just completely killing the uh, civilians. And the other ones are fighting are fighting against the ethereal. Which I have decided has officially become potentially my most hated enemy so far. Okay, so what are we going to do, guys? Gotta help Hayward. <clears throat> Elsewise, she will not have any movement. No more acid burn, nothing. Uh, seven turns. We're far, far away from where we need to be. Can the turret hit anything? No. Too far away. I'm all over it. At this point we're running. Roger that. Shinrod moves. We have full cover here with Inquisitor, and he's the fastest one. So might as well take care of these collectors. There we go, that worked out well. Lyrical is concealed. means we can use her for scouting purposes. Trying to hit that armored viper <coughs> that frees up uh, the grotesque and makes it more difficult for them to go on. And let's kill the Lancer. All right, can't have it all, but the first hit was great. More mind control from the ethereal. Damn, that armored viper has has him bound yet again. Oh wow. All right, there's one bur uh, bandit skirmisher. That's the wrong target, buddy. That is just a dark elder. You guys need to focus fire on... You need to focus fire on the ethereal, otherwise this is going to be quickly over. Hey, Ward. That's exactly what we should do, which is get the F out of here. Exor follows her. Shinro takes a short path. We need to take risk now. Can't move all around the building.
Inquisitor will use their cooldowns. We get ahead. Next turn we can take a look down there. Lyrical. We're still using the concealment. Well, if we can try to hit the ethereal, and if that's the only one that we can hit, might as well give it a try. Okay, it has a bolt, it has um, mind control. It's a lot of things that are nasty. Good. The grotesque is almost down. Two more hit points. Which means it's likely not going to survive the next round. Nice, nice. No, not so nice. I was hoping the skirmisher would charge in. Unfortunately, the elders are stupid and are fighting against one another. Fortunately for us, they are not killing each other yet, but I can tell you there is potentially only only one more round until all of this completely goes sideways. So we need to get out of here. Aviator. Kills this guy. Down. Good. Hayward moves up. I don't think that we need the sniper at this point. Moving to check if there's anyone here. Answer is no. Super fast sprint from Hexor. Same for Shinrod. Moving in to double check what we're dealing with. We knock him down there will be reinforcements let's calculate that i think next turn is better Look at you. And the guy has also dodged on top of it. Okay. 
Let's stay up here because I think that's the closest to getting out. One move, two moves. If we knock down now, reinforcements are going to arrive two rounds from now. All right. Let's be greedy and try to get out of here. Oh, you got yourself a two hit point beast. Okay, cool. Just to be shortly afterwards killed. Interesting. There is one mind controlled uh, Dark Elder and one normal skirmisher. Alright, the last skirmisher just dropped. Yeah, now there are two mind control uh, two uh, elders left over, one heavily injured, one Okay. Free pickup. And. This here is moving down. Now, the quote unquote big problem here is going to be getting him out of uh, out of it. No need to ask twice. I need to r run the entire <clears throat> the entire way. From here, yeah, we should be good to get out next turn. There's one Overwatch, but we are concealed. Turret is still Overwatching. Lonely little turret there. Wow. Five, six collectors and a brute. Where's the where's the overwood shot by the way? There we go. I was about to say. It's a bit of bullshit. So the aliens know we're here. We might lose one or two of the operatives, but I think we can win the mission. More reinforcements, oh yeah, sure. <laughs> oh, what an insult. Uh, they sent a scrotum. They sent a scrotum to kill us. Always fun. If enemies can immediately act after arriving. Unclear how and when, but these guys just arrived and are beating the ever-living crap out of us. Good. Armored Viper continues its bindings.
and our turret tries to help us. Oh boy, this this entire mission is an entire slugfest. Okay, let's start here. Good to go. Aviator heavily burned, injured, and whatnot. Just gets out of here. Good to go. Shinrod. Takes a last good look at that beast. Hits it. Copy that. Gets out. Running and gunning. Into the center of all of that. Lyrico. Oh, come on. Oh, yeah. Well, it's the kill. I think it was a kill. And finally Inquisitor with a dark VIP. Carrying most of the load of this game. I can't believe that we managed to pull this one off. That was nail bitery close, but that's exactly what I was hoping when taking a few more low-level characters into these missions. If we would have failed it, yeah, we would have lost a few units and a bit of uh, a bit of money. But at the same time, <clears throat> we wouldn't have risked uh, to lose any of our kernels, which at that point is "quote unquote" the lifeline of the run. I want to keep uh, specifically the A team with all of their ability point investments up and running. So we got to be careful not to lose any of the, those. This mission in particular reminded me a lot about some of the other modded runs that I did with Classical XCOM 2, where the enemy force was just so overwhelming that there was no way you got you were going to chew through it in the time. Maybe for the run I should have enabled double timers and put the side rule out that you actually got to uh, win against all of them. That would have um, enabled more firefights and not these little wheezily runaway tactics. But I'm still quite happy that I pulled it off. <clears throat> Lesson learned from uh, the mission: you got to know when to cut your losses and when to uh, when to run out. Hayward, I like it. She is pretty well. Pretty well in her development so far. Is uh, ten points, ten AP. I think ten AP will not be enough. I think ten AP will not be enough to give her an extra skill. But let's just double check. Wow, untouchable would be really good for her kill zone as well, but. I don't want uh, to spend XCOM AP for her. Although Untouchable would be really, really good if she's getting close and personal. Shredder, by the way, is also fantastic ability. She's quite stacked when it comes to those abilities. And genius level of intellect. That's good as well. Cool. That was a successful mission. Assorted loot, black market. I think we're going for the loot. Avenger plotting new course. We're still low on Intel. By the way, wait, 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 wait. It should have been 90 Intel that we were getting. I rescued the dark VIP, what the fuck is wrong? That should have been 90 intel, they gave us the supplies but not the intel. But I rescued that guy. Well, great. I suppose since that worked, 
We might as well keep it up, Commander. All right, that's a good one. Plus one damage output for all beam weapons. This is throughout all of the teams just a major upgrade. Major upgrade. And we had another really good one. The sword upgrades, which will increase the katana. Also, Hogbite finally gets his his um, dodge cap. Putting Bastard here with him. Maybe he gets another promotion. Eight more days. And we're ready for the swords. Begin action. Good. If we see more dodge, um, the next one is Sonar. Or actually Euler. Maybe we're giving it to Euler for better survivability. This is helpful. Alien Psy Amp is exactly what we needed. Let's do one day data uh, cache that will give us the necessary intel. Just in case we need to buy something. It's only uh, 65, but that's fine. We're at 100 into, which is good enough. Are we spending two more days for some more into? No, I think we're okay for now. I would love to get this one going. I tell you what, 30 alloys, 20 elerium. I think we're, we can just do another data pad. Fly to the uh, to the black market, purchase it, and then start the custodian armor. I have high hopes in that. I was specifically selecting uh, to hunt some of the custodians. Let's hope the game is not letting me down. I don't. I have not looked anything up, uh, so I might be completely wrong. But it would be fun if it is a great item. Good. So that worked well. Another superior scope and a superior perception. Ooh, I like it. That is 60 more into. Avenger plotting new course. So let's finish the data pad and finish this here. And then we should be good. Expanded magazine. Eh. Yeah. I was hoping for a bit more loot, maybe a heavy weapon, but it's completely random. Unfortunately, in the end game, it's still not allowing you to <clears throat> to get uh, end game loot only. You can theoretically, I don't know, get a repeater, and that's Hive Swarm Siege, Chameleon, Custodian, Grandmaster, Drone. Advent Exalted Custodian. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that is easy. Not going to be a problem. It's an auto loss mission, but it might be one where <clears throat> we can have some fun. Who's available from our ever so shattered armory? Axe almost is done with his Grenadier training. Too bad I can't, uh, I can't take him onto that mission. Grenadier and Grenadier? No, that's not a good bond. I mean, it's funny because they could be Grenadier brothers that are lopping grenades left and right, but no, 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 no. Okay, so we got uh, Grenadier, Double Ranger, Specialist Sharpshooter. It's, yeah, it's not so bad. I mean, we could pull it off. I guess. Another Grenadier. <clears throat> if I had more Elarium cores, which I think we don't. Yep. That's a real shortage. I wish you could buy them for a lot of supplies. Uh, then I could build a few Sparks, which would be attempt number three in this run. But uh, as it stands, it's just base classes. And that's about it. 
Um, but yeah, I'll I'll think about how we're going to fight off uh, that invasion. And I'm also thinking about which of these buildings we might not need. Laboratory is sacrificable, but that would reduce our research speed. I was uh, thinking if uh, conquering the rest of the world would be an admirable goal, but potentially not. Potentially just ignore it for now. Um, laboratory is giving us more advantages and with so many scientists we're already down to four slash five days. Good. The moment that this here is done done we can do the Praetorian armor. And it's even a recommended uh, project. Advent Praetorians. But here, that is what we wanted to do. Exalted Custodian Corpse. Initial reports suggest that you can get super hardcore armor with it. Okay, we're still going to finish this one day and then uh, we're going to get the new armor. And after that armor, I've come to the conclusion we're actually going to progress the storyline because I want to go and see if we can push it to all the way to Waterworld. Um, maybe as time, uh, time permits, also get the other rulers. Uh, that would be uh, super helpful. And when uh, we are at Waterworld, we can... Uh, we can yeah always uh, do side gig side objectives the main team however is then ready to infiltrate water world and if you think about how to get the proper map of um, of water world it's not google maps it is the like button here so if you want to see water world in this run uh, you better hit that like button thank you and see you soon bye bye